it drops the temperature down from you know 110 degrees on the metal 10 degrees 100 degrees 102 whatever it is why is that important that is a thermal break any of these three act as a thermal break before i get into what i'm doing in this it's a bittersweet moment for me today i just moved the van into the sun so i can do the video i'm getting rid of this today starting a new chapter or turning that page or whatever you want to call it so let's get into the jeep and talk about that i wanted to say goodbye to my jeep properly i am selling it today uh, i was going to sell it privately but it's just a heck of a lot easier to go through a dealership they're gonna you know pay off my remaining balance they're gonna cut me a check i've always wanted a jeep my entire life and I got to fulfill that dream. However, I have bigger dreams and aspirations for myself and my career and things that I'm trying to do. So that is why I'm doing what I'm doing today. I'm gonna be converting that van next. I'm probably gonna do another van after that. Uh, I wanna get into tiny home designing and building, container homes. I don't have the financial backing to have a daily driver, which is what this would be. It was my daily driver and a van. I just don't have that kind of financial you know, stability in my life to have both. I hope by the time my all electric uh, pickup truck, the, the Ford F-150 Lightning comes out, which will be about this time next year, I'm hoping I'll have enough financial stability where I can have van and a daily driver which will be my pickup truck that is really where i'm trying to get at right now it is what it is i'm not i'm not upset about it it's just i can't i can't have, I, I don't know how these other youtubers have the financial stability to have all these toys like i just i don't have that and i do fine for myself it's just i don't know i i maybe i should start doing more brands <laughs> uh, i do too much free work i do so much free stuff i gotta stop doing free stuff so maybe that's what it is. I need to know my self-worth here, guys. I am excited and nervous, but let's go over to the Jeep dealer. Let's get what it, this video is actually about, which is also the pre-insulation set. guys this is uh, the fun part of the video now I put up some test pieces for everybody to kind of understand and uh, let me give you guys a breakdown on what I'm about to do here so uh, you might see some sweat perspiration coming off my face it's because I'm in Las Vegas it is let's see 4 30 in the afternoon right now and I believe the outside temperature is in the low to mid 90s still sun is still out um, setting in about two hours so I'm doing this a little bit later in the day I put up these three test pieces this is reflectix that I taped up because there's not it's a non-stick this is kill mat which is a sound deadener and then this is like a frost king um, which is this stuff right here it's a ducks it's a duct insulator these three items is really what I try to talk about the most when it comes to pre-insulation or layered insulation this is layer one so i am going to use this guy right here which is a flare gun or a thermal gun and it will give us the readout of temperatures when i start reading them we're going to go outside we're going to get some readings there we're going to get inside what the metal feels like okay what it feels like there and that's what that gun is going to read for us this stuff you see quite often in vans people put them you know all over the metal what it does is it's a sound deadener it takes the the ding the dingness away so it'll deaden the sound it'll deaden the the vibration of the metal down the road while driving technically if you read over the specs of that stuff you only really need to cover about 25 to 30 percent of the metal to deaden it i'm going to talk a little bit more about why i cover more of the metal with it in a little bit uh, let's go with this one is frost king again used for ducting uh when you run ducting in a commercial building or residential like you know complex or something along the night so you usually will wrap that and that actually keeps the cold air a little bit tighter running through the ducts or heating ducts for that matter as well i am not the biggest fan of this but if used the way that we're talking about using it here then possibly it could work 
So Reflectix, um, as long as you're not using it as insulator, as you guys can see, the tape is actually melting right off of that. If used properly, can have a big R value, I guess. However, we're not using it. It's usually used for uh, a vapor barrier or something like that. But if you use like a wool, a foam board as an insulator, or even um, Thinsulate, those three insulators, antimicrobial, so they will not mold over time. Wool actually absorbs moisture and releases it. I plan on doing a follow-up video with Havelock to explain that a little bit more. Thinsulate, uh, again, it will not you know, have any mildew and also foam board too. So you can use those all throughout your van very safely. Before you put those in is what we're talking about here. So it's up to you on which one you're gonna use. But let's get some, some cool readings and some cool just facts about this um, for you guys to understand. Again, it's 4.30 in the afternoon. We're outside now. This is the thermal gun. I'll turn the camera around so you guys can see it a little bit better. And I actually click it on, and it'll give me a reading of 111.7 degrees Fahrenheit. Hopefully that comes up. You're gonna have to take my word on it. So 100, 110, 111, it said max is 113 right there. And then I'm gonna shoot it down on the pavement real quick. Yeah, that says 124? Yeah, that's hot. So let's get in. You guys already saw that it was about 110 up against that. 113, it said max. Let's get in now. Okay. These have actually been sitting for about, for about 25 minutes, maybe 30 minutes. So let's turn the camera around. Now I'm pointing it, you can actually even see the red light on the metal right there. And it's reading 108.3, it looks like. 109 max. That's on bare metal. We're gonna now point it directly at the Reflectix. You can probably see the, all right. It looks like the Reflectix is reading a 102. I'm gonna go throughout the whole thing. Isn't that cool that I can like move it around? Cool. So that's reading uh, 103.8 max. I think it got down a little bit lower than that at some of the points. 102.3, okay, pretty good. So I'm gonna now pointing at this metal right here. Again, we're still reading a 109, 108. Oh, that glare is killing me. We're gonna point it up at the kill mat now. So the kill mat, it looks like it's reading about 100. Move it over to the edges a little bit and you can see it goes up to 105 in the middle of that kill mat. I didn't I, I didn't really roll it on, I just press it on with my hand. 102, 103. That's with the kill mat. Now with the Frost King, 102, 103. 101. Uh, so you guys can kind of see what I was kind of trying to demonstrate here. It drops the temperature down from, you know, 110 degrees on the metal, about 10 degrees, 100 degrees, 102, whatever it is. Why is that important? That is a thermal break. Any of these three act as a thermal break. Like think of like, like a, like a can of soda or a beer can and you're out in you know the hot summer what do you do to, to keep it a little bit colder you put a koozie on it this is kind of an inside out koozie so in actuality yes if you were to wrap your vehicle with like a vinyl wrap it'll help it you know and then and then people also use like the the rattle trap on the outside too but this stuff is like kind of like that but on the inside or any of these three i should say the reason i like kill mat by the way is um, it's not tar based. I believe rattle trap is a tar based. That's what I've heard. Don't know how true it is. So technically I believe there's some off gassing to it. Kill mat, this is the 50 mil, the MIL. Um, they also make an 80, which again, it would probably help a little bit to have it as a little bit thicker. Having this covering all the metal, having this cover all the metal or this cover all the metal will definitely help the inside of your van not become like an oven. That's what the point of this entire video is. 
We do not want it to be a freaking oven in here, and that's what that that's what this does. Now, I've heard, I'll have to do a follow-up. I'm gonna let this actually sit over the weekend, but I've heard if this sits in the heat for too long, it can actually melt off the wall. It can come off. I don't know how true that is, but we're gonna do a test to it. So maybe I'll mention it in another video or on my Instagram or something like that. But from what I understand, this stuff, I really want to cover the entire van with this stuff. It gets expensive because it comes in a roll of this size, you know, or you could get the kill mat, which is right there. And those two boxes alone were like $120. Just this one roll, I want to say it was like 16 bucks to cover the entire van. You can do the math on that is a lot of work and money. Same thing with kill mat. Reflexus is probably the cheapest, but it, actually it's still not even that cheap. I think that roll down over there was, I think 20 bucks, I forget what it was. Um, but you know, now that I have it, I might as well, I'm gonna probably use it throughout the entire van somewhere. So it'll be interesting to see how that holds up over time. Hopefully you guys uh, learn a few things. Maybe you guys can do a little bit more research on what you want to use, but that's really what I wanna start showing on, on this channel is give you guys some options on what you may wanna do. Also on this channel, I'm gonna be building out this entire van, which is gonna be cool. It is a low top Ford Econoline. And uh, I've already done two high tops, but I plan on doing probably another high top here in the very near future and a tiny home and a container home yay i'll end the video with this people may say well what about spray foam spray foam this spray foam that spray foam yay spray foam okay the thing is with spray foam if you don't do the mixture exactly with the spraying exactly the way that it's supposed to be done this sheet metal can warp you can actually see it from the outside that it actually would cause like a like a ripple and if it, it has to be done almost perfectly for that ripple not to happen. Do I wanna take that risk? Probably not. Do you wanna take the risk? That's totally up to you. I'm not gonna tell you to do it or not to do it. I would rather use something like this or like this, possibly this, but you can see there's an air gap there that which definitely helps. I mean, I don't know, we'll see. Maybe I'll use like this and then use like a wool and maybe then use this as like over it and that'll really give you a layered insulation. That's kind of what I'm talking about. Or maybe like this with a wool or a thin slit and then like a half inch foam board and then maybe that over it. That is crazy amounts, but anything's possible. Obviously go like and subscribe and do all that good jazz, but I will see you guys next time. Later!